Hey you, another repeat workout. This one is a Fasberado original. It's a 10 minute AMRAP of eight toes to bar and eight front rack lunges. 60 for men, 40 for women. The fitness version of this workout is also a 10 minute AMRAP and it's 16 V ups and eight front rack lunges. Same weight, 60 for men, 40 for women. What you're going to need for the warm up is what you're going to need for the warm up is a blue or a red big band. Go grab it together with a barbell and find a spot at the rig that is suited for your height. Right? Please be noteful of the other people around you. Maybe you need to communicate a little bit with each other so that everybody has enough space to do the workout. For the warm up we're going to start with 15 calories on the assault bike for men and 12 calories on the assault bike for women. After that you're going to do a 30 second active hang. That means you're going to hang from the rig, try to get your knuckles on top of the bar, pull the shoulder blades down and hang for 30 seconds. After that you're going to do 45 body weight Russian twists. You're going to sit on the ground, feet together, off the ground, clap the hands together, push the elbows into the side, quickly turn from left to right. 45 repetitions, two rounds. For the next part of the warm up, you're going to need your band. You're going to attach it to one of the pull up bars or to one of the poles. And you're going to do an alternating Tabata of banded face pulls and banded double handed pull downs. For a Tabata, you're going to set your watt timer to 8 rounds, 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest. The first 20 seconds, you're going to do a face pull. Grab the band high up. Keep the shoulders low. And your hands go out and back at eyebrow height, aka pull to your face. After that, keep the band at the sides, butt back, shoulders back and down. Pull the band back. Hold here for a short second, then return. All right, 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest, four sets of each, alternate. Then another alternating tabata of jumping squats and arch rocks. Jumping squat into a half squat, explode up. Land in the squat, repeat, arch rocks, lie on your stomach, go into the arch body position, hold it, start rocking, make it harder by bringing the hands further in front. Same thing, 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest, 4 sets of each, alternate between each movement. Time to warm up for the front rack lunges. Grab a barbell, place it on the shoulders, keep a full hands grip if you can, otherwise have two fingers behind the bar, elbows go together and up, rib cage goes down, and you step forward and out while keeping the chest long and elevated. Do sets of three repetitions on each leg, and work up to the workout weight. This should be medium heavy for you. Then it's time to practice some toes to bar. You're going to hang in that active shoulder position again, try to get the knuckles on top of the bar. And for a keeping toes to bar, you're going to push the bar down, then open up. Push the bar down, open up. It's a shoulder controlled movement. 
Once you can initiate the kip from the shoulder, you can start to scissor with the knees towards the elbows. And over time, you get strong enough to turn that kipping swing into a toes to bar. Initiate from the shoulder, scissor, touch the bar with the toes. All right? Find a way that allows you to do a set of eight or two sets of four as a continuous effort for the entire 10 minutes. All right? The goal of this workout should be to accumulate as much volume in the toes to bar as possible in repeatable sets. Same thing for the lunches. All of this should be one moderately paced workout with a continuous pace throughout. All right? Hope that makes sense to you. Go get it. Have fun. Good. So, <laughs> if you have arms and time left, you can do the finisher. So for the finisher, you're going to do 30 repetitions of the pull down we did in the warm up, followed by max active hang, like we did in the warm up. All right, rest one minute in between sets. After that, go to the cool down. Then go to the cool down, which is going to be the banded overhead stretch. For the banded overhead stretch, set your band high up. Your wrist goes through the band, then grab the band, turn the hand palm up to the ceiling, let the band distract the shoulder, and then hang out here. You can see what happens if you turn more in or more out. You can use this hand to get more rotation inwards. One and a half minute on each side. After that, Log your result in Beyond the Whiteboard to track your progress. Sign in for your next class. Say bye to the coach and your fellow trainees and we'll see you another time.